I see someone's fired up. You'll cancel and walk. Keep trying. Oh, me surprised. Rescue me? Yamcha! You weren't even knocked out! Yeah, well, I can speak, but only just barely. Goku found me. I was out cold. You're actually in pretty good shape. Imagine that. You don't say. What happened to me anyway? Feels like I got hit by a truck. Where to begin? Crap! Another clone's appeared! Krillin, save it for later. Let's deal with this guy first. A fierce showdown is about to begin! bit more freely now. Anyway, I think I get the picture. So it was those waves from that thing Bulma made that paralyzed me all of a sudden, huh? I don't exactly like having my power sealed, but I guess our enemies are in the same boat. But I'm sure you'll work it out. No, Yamcha, you're as much a part of this as we are. In fact, we really need more good fighters to join us. Seriously? Yeah, Yamcha. So what do you say? You feel like fighting side by side with us again? Wow, uh, I don't know. I kind of retired a while back. My martial arts skills are going to be kind of rusty. Are you sure you even want me to fight? Huh? Of course we do, Yamcha. I mean, you're already wearing your gi. Of course we want you to. See? Even Krillin's going to be fighting. So the more the merrier. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Even, huh? You really got away with words, Goku.
It's been a long time since the three of us got together in these uniforms. Reminds me of the days when I trained as a martial artist. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think we've ever trained together, Yamcha. So hey, why don't we go a few rounds? Well, you, you're kidding, right? I wouldn't even come close to being a match for you. Not to mention I'd be giving up fighting. Krillin would be a much better training partner, okay? Hey, now, I've retired from fighting, too. I got a family to think about now. Well, I guess there's nothing I can do about Krillin having a family. Guess robot wives have needs, too. But you know, Yamcha, you're not married, and you don't have a family or anything, right? <laughs> you see, about that, I, uh, it's, it's complicated. I have no idea what you're talking about. But... If you don't have a real reason to quit fighting, then you should train with me, Goku. Uh, are you even hearing the things that are coming out of your mouth? Enough about me already. Let's just focus on the upcoming battle. Let's just... Let's think of this fight as us training together, okay? Oh, and please try not to kill me. You take it to this like a duck to water. Now let's keep going. Join you? Goku? But what are you guys doing here? Shao Tzu, really held your own out there. You can leave this to the rest of us. Okay, thanks guys. Over here, clone. We're your opponents now. are behind it all. If it's all right with you, I'd like to fight too. You're gonna fight? 
Tian, are you sure that's a good idea? Oh no, can you even move okay? I appreciate your concern, Chatsu, but I'm fine. If I don't fight at times like these, then what am I training for? Tian! Chatsu, I want you to... I want to fight too! I'm not scared! I want to help you, Tian! Chiaosu! I can do it! We always train together! I know I can be of use! Very well. Then we fight together. Just promise never to leave my side, you got that? Promise! Hey, Tien. What do you think the chances are of us winning this fight, huh? This fight? Yeah. And I'm not just talking about the enemy that's right in front of us. I'm talking about this whole situation until it's all over. Good news is, our enemies are just as affected as us by the waves. So, we should all be at the same level. But it's simply, I'd say our chances are about 50-50. Yeah, that's what I thought. The waves are playing a huge role in this, huh? So, uh, I guess that means we shouldn't have to rely on Goku to take care of everything this time. Exactly. Let's show everyone what we can do. Here goes! Yeah! Hey, Krillin, what's up with the shaved head, buddy? I, uh, thought it would help me get into a more of a fighting mentality. Is that weird? No, it's not weird at all. Kind of takes me back, actually. You haven't changed very much over the years, and, uh, looking at your head reminds me of our training days, you know? No, right? It's kind of like, uh, well, it feels like I'm starting out again. Well, did you say the less hair you have, the older you look? But I'm actually kind of jealous of how young you look, man. Oh, yeah? Well, if that's the case, why don't you shave your head, too? No, well, you might look younger if you do. No, no way! You heard me right. Having less hair usually makes you look older. Plus, uh, if I didn't have any hair, I wouldn't be a hit with the ladies. Oh, Yamcha. Still looking for love, huh? Obviously, I... You know, I want to get married someday. You may be older, but you haven't changed a bit, have you, Yamcha? 
Always focusing on women rather than the enemy at hand. Well, uh, that's just one of the many reasons we need to do our best to bring back peace. But enough about me, okay? Let's just focus on the fight. Oh, man. Same old Yamcha. Kind of huge power out there. Feel it? Yeah, I did. It's different. It's not like the clones we've been fighting. I wonder, is it Cell? Could be. The energy is similar to Cell's, yes, but it feels a bit smaller. Doesn't that's odd. We can sense Cell's energy, but not the person he's fighting with. An opponent with no energy? Hey, do you think maybe Cell's fighting 16? Wait, I've got it. He's an android. You can't sense the energy of an android. We might be able to find a clue or two. I say we check it out. His opponent is down. Eighteen. Oh no! Please spare her. I'll do anything that you say. Um, excuse me. What's going on here? What have you done to my wife? Well, if it isn't Goku and his annoying, noseless sidekick. 
cell. Holy crap! You are back! That's awesome. To tell the truth, I always did want another go at you. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Because I'm back from the dead and ready to bury you in your wretched old spring. Krillin, let me take care of Cell right now. You need to make sure 18's okay. Thanks, Goku. 18! So good. She's out cold. Oh my, do you know her? Is she okay? I'm so sorry. She sacrificed herself to save me. <laughs> you monster! Cell, you'll pay for this! <laughs> Look at this spectacle she's putting on. So be it. We'll just have to defeat them all right here, right now. Well, I gotta say, I am happy that I'm getting a chance to fight Goku so soon. Sorry, stranger, but I'm gonna need you to look after 18 for me. Cause I'm gonna kick self butt! Don't make me laugh. Defeat me. As I recall, your power doesn't even compare to that of your better half, 18. Back down, Krillin! This isn't the kind of guy you want to tangle with! What is a husband if he can't protect his wife? Ooh! <laughs> Someone's coming. Damn right! I don't care how strong you are! Touch my wife, you're going down! Feel his power either. He's gone. He got away. Eighteen, are you okay? It's okay. Don't worry. She's just unconscious. But we'd better get her looked at just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, thanks so much for standing up for eighteen. No, it's me who should be thanking you. You're quite strong, the both of you, really. Especially considering you managed to withstand the effects of the waves. Waves? Do you know what's going on? Oh, uh... What happened to 18? Please, I need to know what happened! Clearly instructed her to stay indoors if she'd only listened! Very well. I was a researcher, a once proud employee of the Red Ribbon Army. Unfortunately, 
After those waves disabled 18, the army abducted her. As to why she was abducted, I honestly don't know. Yeah? But what about the clones? And Cell coming back? Hey, is the army... Yes. The army is behind everything. I was researching tech that could suppress a fighter's power, allowing us to plant the spirit of another inside. The technical term is called linking, and it was perfected not days ago. Shamefully, when I learned the army planned to use it for total cosmic domination, I became afraid and deserted. While on the run, I met Android 18. We decided to flee together. Then we... we ran into Cell. 18 sacrificed herself to save me. So I guess what you're trying to say is that the Red Ribbon Army is up to their dirty old ways again. And when you tried to quit, they turned on you, tried to hunt you down. Does that sound about right? Yes. Please, you must stop the army. Damn straight you will. Why, we'll tear them to, to, to ribbons. So, you know where their base is, right? We would be very grateful if you showed us the way. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't be able to retrace my steps. I was so caught up in getting away. Uh, great. Oh, by the way, we're gonna go see my friend Bulma. Wanna tag along? You see, the plan is we're gonna have her take a look at 18. All things considered, you'd probably be much safer with us. Actually, I really should be heading home. I'm worried about my family. Don't worry about me. Finding the base, that must be your top priority. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs>